And joining me now is Dr. Ian Thompson, the principal and co-founder of On Common Ground. And today, Ian was talking about the concept of a social license in the mining industry. So Ian, could you tell us a little bit about what a social license is? In our formulation of a social license, we um, have inherited this from the work of or the initiative of Jim Cooney way back in 1997, who suggested that uh, as a consequence of the very poor reputation of the mining industry at that time, that the industry had to recover a social license with the, with the greater community. And it would do this project by project. Uh, each individual project would need to have a social license from its host community. Uh, so for us, the social license is something that is granted by the local community. It is their perceptions of whether they are willing to accept or reject a project, uh, or whether this project is acceptable, uh, which would be a minimum level, uh, whether they approve of it, which would be a higher level. And every now and again, we see circumstances where the relationship is so strong that there is a, a, a actual identification, and communities start talking about our mine, our project things like that, which we have a very high level, very high quality of, of perception or opinion of the, of the project. So the social license is something that's granted by the community. It is intangible, unwritten. It has to be earned and then maintained because uh, it can go the other way. Things could happen. The company could say something or do something that, it, that in one way or another erodes either its legitimacy or its credibility. Those would be two key characteristics of a social license. And, and, and it would lose. And it would, so the social license is something that, that, that is it's somewhat ephemeral. And one of the key issues is, you know, when do you know when you've got one? Because you certainly know when you haven't got one. <laughs> because when you haven't got one, you're facing strikes, blockades, uh, loss of access to land, and various frictions which say that the relationship isn't right. So it's an expression of a relationship. So would you say that the social license uh, these days is as important as a legal license when you're operating in any uh, foreign jurisdiction? It may well be more important. Um, you may have uh, a legal license, um, but you are unable to implement that legal license. That would certainly be true uh, of, of, or more true perhaps of, of projects at the expiration stage and operating in remote areas where government is not present, the rule of law uh, is not enforced, the rule of law may not exist. So it is you're dependent entirely on that relationship with the local population for access to land and to, and to move forward. And it can happen um, at, at later stages in, in projects and, and during the operational life of a mine. Uh, you can run into serious difficulties because of the perception by the local community that, that you're doing something wrong. Uh, this could be your environmental management, could be around uh, labor and employment issues, or it could be your around any one of a number of social, socio-political, socio-environmental aspects that the company feels uh, are not legitimate or, or that you have, uh, for some reason, failed to uh, maintain your credibility with them. They feel that they've been deceived or lied to. So you also mentioned in your presentation this distinction or relationship that is involved with social capital uh, versus the social contract. Could you uh, get a little bit into uh, that particular uh, element? Those are two key aspects of the relationship. Um, the social capital is the quality of the relationship that is built, and uh, this, is, this is how it's felt personally. You know, do I feel okay? Are they talking to me? Am I being listened to? And then the social contract side of things is, is much more about what the company is doing in terms of providing support, um, uh, and their social investment programs. Uh, and is that contract is that is that contract fair? Is it just? Uh, do we feel that, the, that, that that everybody is able to share to it? Is there is there equity in this situation as opposed to equality? The social uh, capital side is much more about equality. You know, am I equal in all of this basis? Whereas the equity side of it is is, is everybody being treated okay? So those are some of the emotional things that will go into this. So it's it, we, in terms of of, of social license, we're dealing with aspects that, that involve a lot of social psychology as, as much as the physical activities of the company. It's how people feel about things. Well, excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us here, Dr. Ian Thompson. Oh.